Hey guys, I want to touch down real quick. I got a special guest, Nira. I'm holding her right now. She's looking really good. That's my girl. It's okay. That's my good girl. Let's see if we can get a better look at her. There she is. She's a good girl. I'm petting her right now. Alright, girl. Alright, guys. I'm trying not to freak her out. But I got an announcement because uh, this weekend we may be home earlier, but we're leaving for a whole week. Go down to Destin, Florida with our church. Uh, have like a little mini vacation down at the beach. Oh, my fishies. But. We're going to go down there for a week. I'm going to bring my camera. If we see something interesting, we'll videotape and all that. We might do a, a couple of challenges or something like that. It'll be pretty fun. Um, and all that. So I just want to touch down on that real quick. So y'all know. And yeah, let's see. What do I want to do tonight? Um, the only video I'm doing tonight, because tomorrow we're going to do a bunch of reactions. My mom didn't want to do any reactions until she got, like, uh, her, uh, makeup on and all that, so we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to do compilations on different stuff, really, and, uh, all that. So anyway, I want to get down to the main thing of this video, and it's about when do we expect to see a Kong Skull Island trailer? Now, it, you, trailers usually come out about a year before, or just a few, about nine months before the film gets going, or is released. So, based on that, I think in July, which is around the same time we're going to be seeing the new uh, Reign of Kong ride at Universal Studios, even though they have no affiliation with the film now because Warner, Warner Bros. is doing it, along with Legendary. I think that we still got a good chance of possibly around the Reign of Kong ride, possibly seeing a teaser for it. I think a teaser, that's the perfect timing. It's right around uh, almost nine months before the film comes out, because it comes out March 10th, 2017. And I think we'll see a teaser then. I don't think it'll be a really big trailer. I think it'll just be a teaser. And that's when I think we're going to see a teaser for the new Kong movie. But anyway, to like a, an official trailer, I think that, uh, the dates I wrote down here. Did I write them down here? Dang it, where did I put them? Uh, here it is. I think we see a trailer, some t an official trailer, sometime in like November, right around that. Right around there, uh, like on Thanksgiving or something like that. I can imagine, because it'd just be a few months for uh, the movie, and I really think if they don't do it in November, I can really see them doing a trailer or a big TV spot at the Super Bowl. I can really see that happening, because that's ha what happened, of course, with Terminator Genesis and Tomorrowland and Jurassic World and all that. So I just want to touch down on you guys when I, when I thought we might see a trailer come out. It got me excited thinking about it. I can't wait to see what they do with the new Kong ride, too. Uh, Skull Island, Reign of Kong. really want to see how that happens. If it's going to be similar to, like, the Kong ride at Universal or uh, Hollywood. Or Los Angeles, I can't remember. Or if it'll be a completely different story altogether. Um, let's see. That's really all. Yeah, I just thought I'd get her out and play with her for a little while. She's doing good. It's, it's okay. It's okay, girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. I get you better. Mm -hmm. anyway, anyway, guys, I just thought I'd touch down. You can tell you guys that we're going to be going down there. Probably won't, we probably won't even be down there for a week, but that's just assuming. We're leaving Friday which is the day after my birthday. My birthday is this Thursday on the 28th. And uh, I got something special coming in on Tuesday, guys. 
And another thing, my beaver that I'm doing, I'm still working on it, guys. It's tanning right now. It's been tanning for a few days. And we're going to... I'm going to take it out of the bucket with the, al the aluminum, aluminum sulfate and salt mixture that I did. I'm going to take it out and start drying it. If it's not quite dry before my birthday, I'm going to leave it with my grandparents. And I'm going to see my granddad will take care of it in his shop until then. But before, if it is done, we'll smoke it and all that. so where it dries it and everything, you know. What you doing, girl? And I'll do a video on that. I'll also... Also in the video, I'll put in like my quail because I farm quail. If y'all didn't know, Texas A&M's. I got five of them, and then uh, I'll, we also got a husky and a feist. I need to do a video on all of our animals: our cats, our dogs, reptiles, amphibians. I really need to do all of them. It'd be a very lengthy video, but it'd be pretty cool. I might do that on uh, sometime this week before we leave. I think, yeah. Probably on Wednesday when I do the beaver. And on Tuesday, I bought something for my birthday. It was kind of a pain in the butt because I got it at a really good price. But plus shipping ended up being basically retail. And I wished I could have waited, but I'm just too excited now. I'm not even thinking about it. Can't wait for it to come in. It's something I've been wanting for a few years now. And I'm finally doing it. And I'll tell you guys what it is on Tuesday when it comes in off Amazon. Another thing is, I want to work on the Dinosaur King cards thing that I said I might, I'll probably be doing this year. I want to do that, just, you know, funding. I want to do that where I can bring in, do an opening once a month. And I don't know if it'll start, it won't start this month. It might start that next month if I get in a little more cash. Because, uh, the other thing I'm saving, oh, I'm sorry girl. The other thing I'm saving up for, my dinosaurs fell down. My Tyrannodon fell down. Uh, I kind of forgot. Um, but anyway, I want to tell y'all guys that. And Beaver, Beaver, all that. And if we do challenges, or we're down at the beach, so I'm going to see if I can catch some crabs. Blue crabs or anything like that on a line. See how it goes. And bring in a fishing pole, bring in a metal detector and all that to have fun. That's my girl. Let's see if she'll come in on the camera. You're just looking at everything, aren't you? Yeah, it's a good girl. Funny thing about Nira, I bought her at the Reptoday Tallahassee. I didn't get to go this year because we were moving. And uh, we were moving out of that house, as y'all know, with the problems we were having. She's starting to get real active now. And I also bought Chrome, but you know that I was intentionally bought him as a female. Ended up being male, and he killed my other leopard gecko. But, uh, I bought Nira first. I've had a ball python before named Coral, and I regret getting rid of her. But I love Nira. She's a really good snake. And, uh, she loves that. She's a good girl. Yes, you are. Um, and I was so entranced by everything. I thought everything was so cool. They had a green amoebas. I need to do this video in another video, but I'll go ahead and do it now. Uh, they had green iguanas and Chinese water dragons and savannah monitors and rainbow boas. They had a Wuma python, which is really beautiful. Uh, they had baby water snakes for like eight bucks. They had uh, sulcata tortoises for like ninety dollars, the little babies. They had a blue tongue skink. They had a whole reptile show with monitors and alligators and tegus. They had hedgehogs there. It was it was awesome. But one of the booths that bred uh, ball pythons had a bunch of really amazing morphs, but they also had uh, just normal pastels, the normals, for only $10. Ten bucks, man. And I thought, man, i got to get one of these snakes. thought it would be cool because I really wanted another snake. And she's the only snake I have right now. She, I'm happy with her. And... Uh, I was thinking about whether I should get a male or female. I said I want one that would get a little bigger. I got Nira. She was not near the size when I got her. She was only about maybe 10 inches. And she's over 2 feet long now. So yeah, she's twirling around my watch. She's just a good girl. Yes, you are. But yeah, guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Exactly 10 minutes. 
And uh, I'll be doing more videos and reactions and stuff like that. So, thanks guys. Bye.